five. Four. Do three. it! Trust him! Do it! Hey what's up guys, so it's Arlie and I'm here with another video and it seems like PewDiePie has lost the lead once again even after his congratulations diss track that completely decimated T-Series and put him in a pretty much a 300,000 or 400,000, 500,000 subscriber gap lead. It looks like that things are not looking so good because they came back very very quickly and already are at a 100 or 200,000 subscriber gap lead I'm talking about T-Series they literally are like far up right now and that is crazy how fast they came back after that uh, but the diss track was good and I, I just think that this is over it's pretty much over for PewDiePie at this point yes he has fought hard it's been a hard battle but I just don't see him coming back and if he does come back it's just gonna be like okay even if he comes back with another diss track it is just like how long can he really hold them off they grew that quick <laughs> and they're like rapidly outpacing him right now it's it's insane really I mean the only thing I can think of is that the only way he can keep the lead is like drop a diss track every few weeks or something like I, I don't see how he can win you know um and I know PewDiePie doesn't really care he's just trying to save that um, save money for a house to Japan so I would say that once he hits a hundred thousand and if he wins this hundred thousand subscriber battle he's just gonna delete his channel or stop posting and you know announce his retirement and go and live his life with Martia or something and his dogs and uh, I think that will be it you know he'll get married if he hasn't already and live his life quietly he's got plenty of money he's he's had a good run and he's been one of the most famous and biggest and most impactful and influential creators on YouTube ever and it, it's gonna be the end of an era when PewDiePie leaves but I think that he can put the mantle down now hopefully someone will take his place or hopefully there will be other creators that behave the way he does and not he was very a very uncorporate creator yes he took sponsorship deals and things like that but he never um sold out completely to a corporation he always remained mostly independent where most youtubers they become actors or whatever so this is why Peter is probably one of the most influential creators you know it's it's not like he's out here just you know saying oh I'm gonna become an actor oh I'm gonna make a movie or I'm gonna make toys and he didn't do any of those big deals you know even though he probably could have made more money he wanted to stay exclusive to the being an independent creator and uh, I gotta give him props for that anyways thank you so much for watching tell me down below what is your favorite PewDiePie video or what do you love about PewDiePie? What inspired you to make videos if you do make videos and if you haven't started, what's stopping you? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my commentary. I hope you liked my insight into the T-Series versus PewDiePie final battle to 100 million subscribers rates. And I love you guys, Arlenators. Thank you so much for the support and peace.